I'm kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just, I don't even know it. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I march because I want to be free. I march because I'm a woman. I march because we're running out of time. Social media can change the world one click at a time. It sparks important conversations that turn into movements by bringing people together to advocate for issues that are close to their hearts. It always was uh, very difficult to live in Russia when I was beaten up very badly. And got... My name is Ian Daniel, and I'm co-host and executive producer on the television show called Gaycation on Viceland. And it's a travel show about LGBTQ issues around the world. Politics, lives, society, discrimination, triumphs, and joys of that community. This is Amber J. Phillips, also known as the High Priestess of Black Joy. Hey, what's up? This is Jazz Walker, aka Jazz the King of the South. King of the South. And you're listening to the Black Joy Mixtape. You ready? We were cracking jokes basically about politics and race and being black women. And um, people are just really highly encouraging to us to be like, y'all should start a podcast. There's a certain responsibility that comes with having the platform, and I'm very aware of my, my presence on it. Um, I, think, I think for the most part, I, I just th am thinking a lot about other people's experiences in the LGBTQ community, and I try uh, as best I can to be inclusive with the conversation and really help highlight other people's stories. Of course, my story's in there as well, but I think really I'm focused on on people in the community that are more marginalized than myself. On some level, use my social media to talk about social issues and potentially battle discrimination or highlight discrimination. I'm part of like two groups. There's one that's called um, Black Empowerment and it's about like um, people um, coming together. Like it's like the Black, black kind of like the Black Lives Matter movement. So that page is about like um, liberation and like how to like fight against racism. And then another group I'm in is a um, it's a group for like um, transgender individuals, mostly for like um, trans guys. So they um, talk about like how to like help um, how to be more comfortable and like what how to navigate through life without like you know going like crazy or whatever. I feel like social media to me can mean so many different things by how you use it. Uh, it could be an outlet. It can be something you do when you're bored, but in general, it means the ability to not feel alone in a world full of so many different people and so many different voices. You can always feel trapped in your own world, but social media lets you feel bigger than who you are. Um, before social media, I felt like I was just this kid who was scared of, to be himself because uh, I was always bullied a lot in middle school and high school. I didn't have that much friends. And I feel like the most important thing that social media did for me when I was a teenager was have more freedom of coming out and embracing who I am. With social media and younger kids today, I, I do think because of the visibility, there's potential that they feel it's easier to come out. It's easier to say, oh, there's someone else like me and I can be that. Um, uh, there's just more representation. I thought now would be a good time to tell you that me and Kim are together. Oh, yeah. well, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, I'm gay. Okay. Okay. And what about something about your personality? I guess so. What is it? I might know anyway. Guess. No, I don't want to guess. I want you to tell me. Mm -hmm. That boys or girls? You gay? It's okay. <laughs> I knew you were. I knew you were, huh? via YouTube, the wave of people coming out to the people that they love is the most inspiring thing I've ever seen. There's actually like a compilation of like people coming out to their family on YouTube and like just seeing that and that being out for the world to see, them being out, that being out for the world to see is fantastic because then it helps others. for a clean 15 minutes after I watched it. Hey YouTube world, it's me, Evelyn. 
YouTube is a way for uh, Black folks and underrepresented people to begin to show themselves, even though a lot of the images that are being produced at that particular time now is way more diverse because of Netflix and social media. But at the time, there wasn't a lot of content being generated for and by Black people and people of color. I think social media has done for me, has given me the ability to see other people be who they want to be by seeing them break out of their original mold or leave the closet, as it were, uh, it helps me understand that I'm who I am because this is what I was meant to be. I just noticed how the air leaves the room um, in some ways, not because people want to make fun of us, but it's just like, whoa, y'all are so proud and y'all are so beautiful. How do I become a part of it? And then create some interesting, for better or worse, interactions. All these dark-skinned women on these timelines, yeah. you can go online and just type in one hashtag and find people who look like you, taking sticking photos and click on that picture to figure out where they purchased their clothes. Everybody was just so interested in knowing who I am because of the way I dress. They always into like fashion, the, my, the way I, I carry myself, how I dress and stuff like that. And I always feel like my self-expression or how I express myself is different than how other bigger males express themselves. I use Instagram as a platform to be like, I use it as something different to show people I'm not what you think I am. Social media allows me to express myself however the hell I want to. And it's nice because uh, in this world, so many people are diminished by what they want to do. They can't do what they want to do. So I'm blessed to live in a world where I can be who I want to be, no matter where the platform is. May it be in real life or online. Social media inspires me a lot. I, I think I look to it um, for political inspiration, and I think that it started a lot of great movements and momentum. If you look at Black Lives Matter movement uh, and the indigenous movement, things like that, where it, those get a lot of steam because it's easier to participate and have a voice. Knowing more about issues impacting Black trans women um, has been, or Black trans people in general, has been very, social media has been very helpful. For me, in that way, it's taught me a lot about how to talk about trans issues and to be more, not just to be like empathetic or understanding, but actually, how do I speak about this? How do I talk about this? I feel social media is most definitely pushing social change, especially for the future, because people are gonna know how to use social media more, especially this younger generation, they grew up like holding a damn iPad. And before the boom that is social media, now, their black feminism really didn't do a good job bringing younger people in if they were outside of the academy. It used to be that you only got black feminism or learned about black feminist theory if you took a class at a university or college. And now you can access it through a Tumblr post. Actually being serious about the power that it holds and understanding that if everyone comes together, the more that we all feel the same about something, the better the change and the faster the change. It's time, it's... This thing that I'm holding in my hand, this telephone, this camera, it is quite powerful. Um, social media is powerful. We could do something with this. If we want to change, we can really, truly make it happen. You know, we sit out here and talk about, oh, we need the next so-and-so and this and that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Start in your own home. Start with you.